Today, President Donald Trump announced his administration would be providing $12 billion in emergency relief for American farmers affected by escalating trade disputes with China. Local farmers say years of hard work is ruined and long-term problems are on the horizon. This trade war is causing lots and lots of problems. It's not fixing problems. Nebraska Senator Ben Sass took a stance for farmers across the country, saying the trade war caused by tariffs is always a loss for both the United States and China. Now, the president is trying to make up for losses for farmers across the country in what some say is a way to mitigate the problems that come with the trade war. At this point now, we're not seeing an end to this. We're not seeing that this is going to just be short term. It looks like this is going to be lasting longer and longer. And we've also done a tremendous amount of damage to our, to our markets that, again, that we've been working on for, for decades to develop. The biggest problem for farmers is the uncertainty in the future. The likelihood of not making any profit is becoming a reality in Nebraska. Bean prices are well under $8 right now, and we have lots and lots of people in my state that their cost of production is well over $8. So when they get to harvest this fall, they're looking at selling a crop for a total amount of money that's less than their costs of inputs, let alone them providing for their kids. For farmers, we plan year to year. We put out uh, um, plans for five years, 10 years down the road, and what we're looking at right now is probably a large drag on the market for the next five years. Alex McClune, 3 News Now. We contacted other Nebraska elected officials to get their opinion. Here's a sample. Governor Pete Ricketts said this, international trade is critical to growing Nebraska agriculture and our entire state. We continue to urge the administration to conclude negotiations in a timely manner. Senator Deb Fisher, I believe we need a solution that provides certainty by protecting and expanding market access for our ag producers. Her challenger in the November election, Democrat Jane Raybald, why I support short-term assistance for those hurting like young farmers. The only long-term fix is for D.C. politicians to keep their meddling hands out of the way of Nebraska farmers trying to feed the world by bringing their food to market. Iowa Governor Republican Kim Reynolds issued a statement on Twitter saying the $12 billion in farm aid announced today will provide a short-term fix, but it's not a long-term solution. As I've said all along, nobody wins in a trade war. And there was this late development tonight. The president said the European Union is coming to Washington tomorrow to negotiate a deal on trade. Mr. Trump said, I have an idea. Drop all tariffs. That would be called free market and fair trade.